Birds are sometimes spoken of as if they are a distinct type of animal that evolved from dinosaurs. However, the fossil record makes it clear that they were just one particular lineage of dinosaurs that coexisted with their now extinct relatives. One of the main reasons that birds are perceived as being significantly different than other dinosaurs is that outdated portrayals of their relatives remain prominent. In reality, even though birds have some unique features, many of the traits that we associate with them actually originated in some common ancestor that they share with other dinosaurs. Birds belong to a broad evolutionary lineage called the Coelurosaurs, who are a significant part of one of the three dinosaur supergroups, the Theropods. Well-known Coelurosaurs are Velociraptor, who is somewhat of a close relative to birds, and Tyrannosaurus rex, who is a more distant cousin. Most, if not all, Coelurosaurs had feathers or feather precursors, possibly for use in retaining body heat. So birds were not the first dinosaurs with feathers. Birds are also not special among dinosaurs when it comes to their two-legged nature. All dinosaurs that walked on four legs had two-legged ancestors. Even the large sauropods like Apatosaurus had early relatives and ancestors that were bipedal. In other words, birds have retained a basic trait that was present even in the earliest dinosaurs. Additionally, the front limbs of two-legged dinosaurs were held with the palms facing inward rather than downward, as was long thought. Birds also display this trait with their inward-facing wings. The famous bird relative, Archaeopteryx, had wing-like front limbs with claws, similar to slightly more distant bird relatives like Deinonychus. Therefore, the general shape we associate with a bird wing did not originate in true birds, but in an ancestor shared with their close relatives. Bird wings are merely modified from feathered limbs with claws. The beak is perhaps one of the biggest areas of confusion for many people, since other dinosaurs are portrayed with teeth, even early relatives of birds like Archaeopteryx. In reality, a beak did not evolve in true birds until late in their history. A close relative of modern birds that possess teeth, known as Ichthyornis, shows the transition to a full beak. Ichthyornis did not have any teeth at the tips of its upper and lower jaws, which instead were covered in beak tissue. Therefore, the belief is that the number of teeth in birds gradually declined until they were left with a true beak. For some time, it was believed that birds lost their teeth as a weight-saving adaptation for the sake of flight. However, because teeth are believed to have contributed very little to a bird's weight, alternative reasons for the beak's evolution have been suggested, such as its use in object manipulation or that it can adapt to change faster than teeth. Another way that birds are unique from their relatives is that they have no tail. Early bird precursors possessed a tail, just like virtually every other Coelurosaur. However, birds evolved to lose their tail because it was detrimental to flight, with tail feathers being more useful for steering and balance. Birds were also the only flying dinosaurs. The pterosaurs were not dinosaurs, but instead their sister group. These were the first vertebrates to evolve flight, though they used a different mechanism than birds. Birds and pterosaurs coexisted for millions of years. In the past, it was thought that birds had begun outcompeting many pterosaurs for the same resources. However, that notion has been challenged in recent years. Regardless, pterosaurs were wiped out at the same time as the non-bird dinosaurs. But in the end, dinosaurs are still very relevant in the natural world. Though mammals are considered the dominant land animals today, birds are just as important. And let's not forget that there are still a few decent-sized dinosaurs left in the world.